Hey everybody, welcome back to Sekiro. Thanks for joining me again. So I've uh, been playing quite a bit, well I say quite a bit, maybe hour and a half or so uh, off camera since the last episode. And um, if we go in here at the Sculptor's Idol, you'll see that I have um, 10 skill points here to use. And I was trying to do some skill point farming so that uh, perhaps I could learn some more of these temple arts. Right now I have enough skill points to get all three of these. Um, but I was wondering if it wouldn't make more sense for me to just simply... Uh, not that ain't it. Uh, use skill points to enhance my attack power. My attack power is a pathetic 12 right now. If I used all 10 of these points, my attack power to get up to 22, which I'd have to think is quite a bit more substantial. Um, you know, I've been kind of lamenting the fact that uh, each of my attacks against these higher level enemies doesn't do much damage to them. So, uh, you'd have to think that a 22 attack power would do almost twice as much damage as a 12 attack power? I don't know. Uh, but I, that's, that's what I'm tempted to do. However, uh, I feel like, um, I don't know. Almost like a, it would be almost like a bait and switch kind of thing. Because uh, in the last episode, I was like, oh, I'm going to get more uh, skill points uh, so that I can um, get more of these uh, skills in these trees. And um, since I said that's what I was going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then maybe try again, like I did in the last episode, to use these new skill points to. Um, you know, get more experience points and therefore more skill points and then use those skill points to increase my attack power, if that makes any sense. Um, and then maybe, you know, get a little bit more practice in using these things. Although uh, a couple of you said that you really only use these uh, arts against bosses and I really only have one boss left. So I don't know. Uh, it'll be cool at least to see what we get by unlocking these things. Uh, this one here um, gives us this most virtuous deed latent skill. I don't really know if this is something that I even want this late in the game. Increases the amount of Sen obtained from enemies and improves item drop rates. I don't know if I care about that this late in the game. I mean, uh, look at how much Sen I've got here uh, just from doing all this farming. So I don't need Sen. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with all of this Sen. And as far as items, well, holy crap, I have a ton of items. Um, you know, all this farming I'm doing, I'm getting a ton of items. I have 183 pellets. I have, um, let's see, what else do I have a lot of? 64 antidote powders, 116 contact medicines, 150 ministry dialsing powders, 132 pacifying agents. You see, I've got a lot of stuff in here. Um, and then even upgrade materials I have a lot of. I have a, a ton of scrap iron, uh, a bunch of scrap magnetite. Uh, adamantite scrap I'm doing pretty good in, black gunpowder, yellow gunpowder, and you can see here that I actually have uh, 14 fulminated mercury now. Uh, I'll show you how I got that here in a second. Um, so uh, what I mostly did in my farming was just run in here and kill this guy over and over and over again. I did that a lot. And as you can see, I get some goodies there. I got some scrap magnetite and some ministry dowsing powder. And if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see a little red blob underneath of my health bar. That is uh, what you get from ringing the ministry bell. Um, I think is what it's called. And um, I don't remember where this item is. Yeah, this bell demon thing. Um, I mean, if, if I'm just going in here and backstabbing this guy over and over again, I don't care if it's tougher. You know, uh, I honestly don't know whether I got more or better drop items from having that bell de demon thing rung. Um, but I, I did it anyway. Um, but the real reason that I rang the bell was because uh, of when I was farming fulminated mercury. And I'm going to show you where I did that in case you're curious. I went here to the poison pool and uh, there's some guys here that shoot these big bazooka things. There's like three of them here. And uh, if you uh, run and get these guys, well, there's a good chance that you'll get Fulminated Mercury. So here's one of them right here. I sneak up and um, take him out. Hoover up his stuff there. I just got some pellets from him. And then we jump across here to this ledge. And there's a dude here, another one of those dudes. We jump down on him. 
chance of him dropping Fulminated Mercury. And then we're going to jump over here and sneak up behind this guy. So, with the Bell Demon wrong, I just did this over and over and over again. <laughs> that time I didn't get crap. And um, I did it long enough until I got 10 Fulminated Mercury, which is what I need to upgrade everything to the max, I believe. And I guess in my other farming, I've just happened to pick up four more Fulminated Mercury. Uh, one thing I noticed, and one thing you guys might have noticed uh, when I was up there, is that there is an item over here that I have not picked up. Uh, so I saved it for when I was recording so you guys could see it. I mean, it's probably no big deal, but it is something that uh, is here. And it's some yellow gunpowder, so it's actually something pretty good. Whoops. So anyway, this was my... Um, farming run. After I killed that last guy, I'd go back up here and then I would just jump back down here to the idol and I would start the run over again. And uh, that's how I ended up with all the fulminated mercury that I've got. Let's go back to the um, dilapidated temple and uh, we'll see what kind of upgrade we could do and see if we're short on any other um, upgrade materials. I mean, I'm sure there's some more exotic ones, you know, Lapis Lazuli, or however you pronounce that. Uh, I don't even think that's farmable, I don't know. Inspect, upgrade. So there's quite a few things we could upgrade here. We could upgrade our Leaping Flame, the Sen Throw, which I don't think I'm interested in. Um, and I, well, unfortunately, I think I need it in order to get the Lazulite Shuriken, um, which I currently do have the materials for. Here is the Lazulite Axe that I could get. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get this. I'm not going to be able to get this and this. This requires three Lazulite, which I have. This requires two, so I need five Lazulite to get these. I think that's Lazulite, and I don't even know if I'm saying that right or not. Lapis Lazuli, Lazuli, Lapis, I don't know. Um, this is... Uh, a loaded umbrella here that I could get. I have plenty of fulminated mercury to get it and plenty of coin to spend on it. So let's go ahead and get this. That brings us to this, which is another thing uh, that we need Lazulite for. This is called the Lazulite Sacred Flame, a flame barrel blessed with the favor of the Fountainhead Lapis Lazuli. Cost spirit emblems to use, damages even apparitions with its blazing purple flame. This flame does not, however, inflict burn status abnormality. The sacred Lapis Lazuli fires are divine. Cleanse the deep-seated hatred with flame. Huh. It mentions hatred. I wonder if this would have been a good weapon to use against the, the demon of hatred. Although I don't think I, in all of my, uh, all the videos I watched about how to beat the demon of hatred, none of them mentioned this weapon. Um, so I don't think I'm going to bother to even get that. Lazulite axe, a loaded axe blessed with the favor of the fountainhead Lapis Lazuli. The hefty Lazulite blade inflicts damage even on guarding enemies. The sound of the Lapis Lazuli blade striking home creates a powerful rever reverberation capable of dispelling enemy illusions. Interesting. Um, and then we've got the Leaping Flame, a loaded spear with an attached percussion hammer to create flame. Bathe the tip of the loaded spear in flames, making it dangerously sharp making it a dangerously sharp spear and firearm. A charged strike of the spear will knock enemies down and consume them in a fiery blaze. Huh. Okay, so we could just press right trigger for a blazing thrust. Right trigger, right trigger, drag, which I don't think I've done in the entire game have I ever been able to drag an enemy. And then hold right trigger for a leaping flame, charge up your strength, then cleave through surrounding enemies and set them on fire. Let's go ahead and get that. Sounds like fun. And... um. I mean, I have the materials to get this and the money, so let's just go ahead and get it. Uh, it, it well, here, hold on a minute. Let's, let's just see what it is. A prosthetic tool that shoots loaded coin bundles. It costs Sen and Spirit Emblems to use. While it lacks a shuriken's range, it inflicts far more damage as the coins hit multiple times. The amount of coins thrown increases depending upon, or depending on how much money one possesses. Huh. Being rich makes the blast incredibly strong but an empty purse will shoot nothing but dust. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this. So that opens up uh, these three final things here. And unfortunately, they all require Lapis Lazuli. And in order for me to upgrade all of them, I would need three, six, eight Lapis Lazuli. And I only have um, three at the moment. That was kind of disappointing. 
Um, so which one of these should I get? I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever use any of these. Uh, the Lazulite Shuriken. Shuriken, blessed with the favor of the Fountainhead Lapis Lazuli. Its piercing edge heavily damages vitality and damage, damages vitality and posture even if guarded. These blades do not slow down even after striking an enemy. The Lazulite blue trail of light that emits in flight is reminiscent of a shooting star. Uh, hmm. So I'm trying to think of which one of these might be useful against the final boss, and I don't know if any of them would be, to tell you the truth. The axe is very slow. Um, this thing, I don't know. This is the... Um, oh, this is Flame Barrel, another thing that I haven't really used all that much either. Sabimaru, Shuriken, and Axe. Hmm. They're all, they all cost the same. I might not have enough of, uh, what is it? Is it Grave Wax that I need? I might not have enough of that, or is it Fat Wax? I'm looking down here. This is going to require four of whatever that is. That is, um, Grave Wax. So this will require four Grave Wax. This will require three, so that would use all, all seven of what I've got. And then this would require three more, so I don't even have enough um, Grave Wax to upgrade everything anyway. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know which one of these to get, and I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, what would be best against Ishin? I don't know, let's catch him on fire, whatever. Okay. So if I wanted to get these, I'm going to need more Lazulite, and I'm going to need more uh, Grave Wax. I don't know if you could farm Lazulite in this game. Okay, you're done there, dude. Um, so I have a ton of coin, and so I don't want to go fight the boss with all this coin. Uh, and I don't really think there's a whole lot else I could do with coin. Any more business? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, purchase. So he sells a dragon's blood droplet. How much I've got a bunch of. He sells divine confetti. Oh, wow. I could buy 77 divine confetti. Interesting. Hmm. So he sells an unlimited amount of that. Huh. That might be worth spending money on, right? Huh. Well, before Until I do that, time, I might want to go see if anybody um, sells lapis lazuli. Or if it can be farmed at all. Um, hmm. Let's go and acquire these skills that I said we were going to acquire. Temple arts was I was told was there were these were useful. Uh, devotion. Oh, that's a latent skill. Okay, so this increases the amount of time a Buddhist candy is effective when used. Those who demonstrate devotion are blessed with the protection of the gods for an extended period. Be curious to see how how much longer that lasts. Uh, this would acquire the Senpo Leaping Kick Combat Art, where repeated attacks begin with a leaping kick. A combined anti-air counter and sweep attack counter follow up with a combination of kicks. A technique refined by the recluses of Senpo. According to their practices, mastery of the leaping kick proves one has attained true enlightenment. So this is another left bumper plus right bumper, right bumper thing. Sure, why not? Now this one's unlocked here. High Monk. Acquires Combat Art High Monk, the secret technique of the Senpo style. This adds sword slashes and additional kicks to the Senpo le Leaping Kick. The technique has no form, and the attacks differ from person to person. For Wolf, it's only natural that he'd rely on Kasu Kas Kusabi Maru when performing the technique. Whatever you say, dude. Uh, so, left bumper... Plus right bumper, then right bumper, Senpo leaping kicks, kick repeatedly after leaping. Right bumper after Senpo leaping kicks, right bumper high monk, perform several sword attacks and finish with a jumping forward kick. Yeah, I could see me doing that. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, well, there, we got something. Uh, so we've got two, maxed out on two of these arts, which is kind of neat. Um, but, I mean, in order to get the rest of these... I mean, we're talking, I'd need uh, three, five, this would, this here is um, six points. So that's 11 to finish out the Shinobi Arts tree. 
And then to finish out uh, this one, I'd need three, five, I need eight more. So we're talking, what is that, 19 I'm up to now? Um, and then these here, this is another six points. I, I can't imagine having enough skill points to unlock all these damn things. So I, this is probably not going to happen because it takes a really long time to level up. And like I said, I, I, I really think that upgrading my attack power would really be the smart thing for me to do. Um, I just think it would be. So, um, I also wanted to, uh, show you guys some stuff that I did, uh, when I was farming. Um, I told you that I went here to this guy and farmed him over and over and over again, but I got, I got bored with that and I wondered if I could maybe come up with a, uh, I don't know, a more interesting, uh, farming method here, something that. I don't know, just kind of made things a little bit more enjoyable. So what I started doing was I'd sneak up behind this guy and I would use my uh, puppeteer. Um, and you, you'll see, this really doesn't do all that. Oh, dog on it. Hold on. I didn't press a button quick enough. I was, I was talking. So we'll puppet him. Oops, let me get my goodies from him. Okay, so... Sneak up behind this guy and puppet him. Okay, so now he's a puppet. And he'll come with me. So what I was doing is I was running around here. This battle starts. And sometimes, but not all the time, I could sneak up behind one of these guys. Damn it. Well, I think I just missed my chance. Get, get up. Oh my god, it's so annoying when he falls on the ground like that. Yep, so that didn't work. And you can see that I'm almost uh, out of health. So sometimes... <laughs> and I do mean only sometimes. Uh, not, not enough times to make it reliable. I can come in there and um, do a backstab on one of those other purple guys. And then also turn him into a puppet. Although you can only have one at a time, I think. And just let these guys up here fight. Um, and then I would come down here and try to, hit one, try to jump on one of these guys. But I could never get the timing right. There we go, got him. Watch how much uh, points I get for killing him. I get 1162 for killing him. And then I would fight this guy. Oh! Ugh. Okay, you need to jump, dude. Uh, again, I'm playing this early in the morning, and my uh, reflexes are not the best this early in the morning. <laughs> They're not that great to begin with. But I, I can't beat this guy. See, so these guys, you get 1162 for each one of them. Up in the upper right-hand corner, you see how much experience I get for killing. 1162 is pretty good. That's even better than the purple guy. And then I come out here, and there's another one of these dudes out here that we can backstab very easily for another 1162. We get him. Those guys I've actually just left alone. I don't know if I get anything for getting those guys anyway. And then just because this guy's here... I actually feel bad killing this guy. He's just standing there praying. But he's here and he's easy to kill. So I would come in and get him and get another 800 something. Um, oh, not even 800. 784. You can see I still have the bell demon rung. <laughs> which I guess makes the enemies harder. But anyway, this was a, um, a uh, farming run that I did for a bit. And like I said, it, it didn't really... I, I couldn't be consistent with it. Um, we'll try it again. And, and for whatever reason, whenever I would sneak into that room where those guys are fighting, um, it seemed like not even half the time I would be able to um, backstab one of those guys. So, of course, this guy could always get... And really, there might not even, I'm not even going to puppet him. Maybe maybe he is a distraction and makes things harder. But I don't think he is. I come in here. I try to sneak up behind one of these guys. There we go. Now, I puppet him. Then I actually leave and just let him fight. I don't want to stick around because I'll get hurt. Now I come here and try to do what I did before. There we go. Get a little better at that. Get his goodies. Take this guy on now. Yeah. 
You just, you just gotta deflect him. A lot. And uh, you'll get him. So we get another level 1162 from him. And then we come out here and take this guy out. They're kind of cool looking. They're cool looking enemies. Man, I can't believe I like, could lock onto him from way over here. And then we run in here. How much would I get if I took these guys out? I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Then we go in here and take this guy out. So, you know, it's, um... You, you, get some, you get some experience. But as far as, like, experience points per minute, really the best thing I think to do is to just simply uh, kill that first guy in the antechamber over and over and over again. Well, that's, that's, that gets boring. Uh, there's, an, there's another um, farming area that a lot of people seem to use. And uh, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with it because the timing I find it tough. Um, but it's right here. I'm at the... You saw where I went, the stairwell or whatever it's called. This one's called... Um, uh, Outskirts wall, station, st stairway, not stationary. So, there's a bunch of dudes here that uh, you could take out, and you get, I think, pretty good points from. I actually never paid attention. This guy, I get, um, how many experience points? Oh, only 662, so really not that great, if you ask me. But uh, there's a bunch of them you could just sneak up on and take them out. You get some good items from them. I got yellow gunpowder. From that guy. Here's another guy that you could very easily take out. And the problem I have... Oh, okay, maybe I'm okay. A lot of times I would come up here and try to take these guys out, but they would be, like, too close to each other. I don't know how that happened. But when I would kill the guy I just killed, this guy would hear me, and he would turn around. Now, this next guy is a guy that I have a lot of trouble with because I run up here. The guy starts banging the gong behind me. Oh, he's actually not this time. <laughs> But this guy here would often turn around before I got to him. The couple guys here, they could take out. They're too busy firing their weapons. And then two more guys over here that sometimes I would get and sometimes I wouldn't. Oh, see, he's already... They're already they've already cleared this place out. But these guys are really easy to kill. Oh, so long as you only fight one of them at a time. <laughs> These guys are really easy to kill. Oh, damn it. Oh, get up. So this is... Are you going to take your health or not, dude? How many times do you press the button? This is uh, really not... Really how you want to do... How come their, um, their posture bar isn't changing? Did you notice that? It wasn't, um, I wasn't getting their posture bar up at all. What's one of the new uh, things that I just got? New combat arts. I got, um, Hi Monk. Hi Monk. Let's see what happens here. Okay, well, that didn't do crap. It's very slow. It doesn't really work against these guys anyway. I got one of them at least. Now, with just one of them left... Ah, gosh damn it. Take health, dude. Oh, God. Shouldn't be too hard to take him out. There we go. So this was the, um, there's another guy that comes out here sometimes too. I normally don't bother to fight him. Huh? How's it going? Oh, sometimes my, my timing's off. It's very frustrating. Oh, okay, whatever. I didn't want to jump over that anymore. Oh, somebody else saw me from somewhere. Huh, I wonder who saw me. Oh, somebody up there. Yeah. So, boy, yeah, there's a... Oh, look at this. There's a 
bunch of dudes. But this is uh, not a good way to... Uh, farm, because you can see this takes a really long time. Damn it, I do not know what to do against that attack. Okay, whatever. Okay, jumping's not the thing to do. Anyway, as you can see, I um, do not have the skill to do that uh, uh, reliably. Maybe if I did it a bunch of times, I could do it reliably, but... Uh, I don't know, I, did, I just didn't feel like it was a good fit for me, for farming. So, it was not something that I tried very many times. I really didn't like it. And, uh, you know, after all that work, we've almost gotten to one skill point. Whereas, if I was just fighting that guy over and over again at the amp to chamber, um, I would, I don't know. I, I could I could get a, a skill point every, uh, you know, like seven minutes or so. I watched a guy who had uh, some kind of bizarre um, run where he ended up going up in there and taking a bunch of people out that way, including um, the um, that uh, there's a chained ogre up here who you actually get quite a few uh, experience points for taking out, but um, he's too hard to get to, I feel like. It's too much work to get try to get to him. So, I, I actually haven't done this myself. I just watched this other guy do this and wanted to run over here and check it out. Remember those dudes here. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a... Okay, that was a mistake. I don't want to fight anybody. If I could, you know. Oh gosh, there's a ton of dudes here. So, let's just see what happens if I just run through here like an idiot. Oh gosh, how do I get out of here? Uh, okay, here we go. Go over here. We got these two guys. Let's just see how many guys we get aggro. <laughs> oh, he's aggro. Darn it, I was going to sneak up behind him. So I actually don't know if these guys will follow me up here or not. There's one dude here. Haha, <laughs> it's your unlucky day, dude. So I only got 662. Can't kill him. Oh boy, they are all coming in here, aren't they? Are they all gonna, are they all gonna come in here? Let's see how this goes. I don't know what to do! Somebody else coming at me? Oh. oh, this guy. Come on, ow! Alright, we got him. So, the reason I'm hanging out here is because I was thinking that maybe, um, you know, that big dude would forget about me, and then I could go over and backstab him, but he looks like he's kind of stuck in the doorway there. <laughs> Just kind of funny. And then, unfortunately, one of these other guys has seen me already. Yeah. So, so much for that. Oh, he's actually going to shoot at me. Look at this guy shooting at me. Pretty sure both of these guys see me now. Even though they don't have the um there we go. There's he has the triangle, the other guy doesn't. But I mean he's looking right at me. So that guy over there's backing off. Yeah, you go away. Oh, damn it! Ah. He saw me right there at the last second. Okay, that wasn't not an option. I wanted to see if uh Maybe I could, um, you know, do a leaping attack on him, but apparently not. It's too bad that he doesn't catch on fire when he steps in that fire. I'd like for this guy to go away. 
Problem is, if I drop down here, this guy's gonna pummel me. Hi, how you doing? Check him out. Look at him. It's like, hey, where'd he go? Uh, where, where is he? Uh, uh, I don't know where he went. Uh. Oh, he's gonna see me now. Look at him. Do you not see me here, dude? <laughs> oh gosh, look at him. Well, this is kind of cool. We get a real good look at his face. Huh, okay. This is hilarious. He's gonna clobber me here in a moment. What happens if I do this? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I thought that was supposed to turn him around. Using my, um, little... That doesn't do crap! Alright, whatever. I was trying to use my fan to turn him around. Does he not see me? I should have sneak up behind him. Oh, he's coming around this way. Maybe he does see me. Eh, maybe we just have to have him forget about me. Oh, he's not going to forget, is he? He may be dumb, but he's got a long memory. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Yep, he's, uh, he's on a rampage. Well, so much for this idea. He, he you get like 2,000 points for killing him. 2,000 experience points, so... Thought it might be, uh, interesting to try to backstab him since I'm over here. But, uh, he, um, he's got a long memory. Well, let's see if he forgets about me. Again, this is not a good way to farm. That's for damn sure. It's not a, not a good way at all to farm. You're not... I mean, you know, I still have 3,612 points... Uh, experience points to get to the next skill point. And, um... Again, if I was just simply farming that, uh... That dude... Um... In the antechamber, well, I would probably be already be up to at least two skill points, I would imagine. It's interesting that this guy doesn't... It seems like he's not going to forget about me, but he doesn't have the triangle over top of his head, which indicates that he um, is on to me. You know? So, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, he's, he's not going to forget about me. So, yeah, I said I watched uh, somebody online who... Um, who had a really neat run through here. It was pretty convoluted. And I don't think there's any way I could remember it. But uh, it was fun watching him do it. Oh, damn it. That's not where I wanted to go. Well, that might still work, though. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. That is not what I wanted to do, either. Okay, well, that didn't work. Well, this guy's gonna shoot at me. Get out there. Oh, damn, how many times do I have to press the button? Go! See. Oh, these guys are actually pretty easy to kill. Hi, how you doing? Can he knock me off of here? Come on. Come on. Oh, gosh, his health is... Or his posture. Oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, it was messy, but I got him. So this guy is not aware of me. Didn't take him out. Oh, here comes the ogre. Oh, another guy's shooting at me from somewhere. Okay, I'm just jumping around.
still not real clear on using my um, arts. <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> he killed me. <sighs> uh, another thing I did um, when I was just running around here looking for things to do was I went back to um, the Flames of Hatred because I was curious uh, to see whether there would be a new enemy here. But there's not. It's just a big open field. Nothing to see here really. Nothing at all. Uh, this guy up here who sells stuff, um, I think he had some uh, carp scales. Cause remember the while back I was still collecting carp scales. I think it's, well, actually maybe it's not this guy. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. This is what he's got. He's got. Um, no, he doesn't have the carp scales. He also sells a dragon's blood droplet, which I don't know if I need any more. I've got ten of them, I believe. May the departed rest. Um. Yeah. So let us homeward idle. Uh, we'll just go back here. Yeah. Um. I remember at some point I wanted a certain number of carp scales but I don't remember what it is what it was that I wanted to buy but um, if we go here to uh, Mibu village there's a there's a vendor here and I think this is the guy that he has two carp scales to sell Care to <laughs> uh so yeah, he sells two treasure carp scales. Two of those things. Just seeing what else he's got. So divine confetti is something that I could spend my money on. May the departed rest in peace. Hmm. Okay, so now how many carp scales do I have? Where are those? I have five of them. Don't know if that's enough to buy anything or not. Let's go see. I'm just passing the time. Uh, near Pot Noble. We'll go to see what he's got for five carp scales. So I think we have to jump down in the water to talk to him now, don't we? Wee. Splish. Hey, how's it going, man? How you feeling? How you like being a carp? Give me more scales. More. Uh, dude, what you doing? More. Purchase items with scales. So, um, floating passage text. Let's see. Unleash. It's a compendium on the combat art floating passage. Skill unlocked upon acquiring this item. Unleash attacks in a flowing, dance-like form, overwhelming enemies in a furor of graceful aggression. This technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School, though it has been deemed her heretical due to its foreign origin. Oh, he sells lapis lazuli. Hmm, he sells one. Okay, so if I had an extra um, carp scale, I could uh, get a lapis lazuli from him. It's floating passage. I don't know if that's something I already know or not. Give me more scales. Uh, okay. Well, so there's that guy. Skills. Floating something or other. I'm just looking to see. Oh, these are um, latent skills. These are all the skills that I currently have. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's go back and look at an idol here. We'll go visit the other uh, pot noble. See what he sells before I spend any of these scales. I, I may have to just collect more scales. 
Collect them all. Um... So that thing he sold, I, I guess, isn't one of these. It's just something else. I don't know where it would show up in here. But I thought it said it was part of the uh, Ashina school. So I don't really understand that. Let's travel back to um, Harata Estate. And gosh, man, do I have to go here? This is as close as I could get to this other pot noble. This guy's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. But I just want to see if he sells more of the lapis lazuli. It's a long way down, man. Alright, let's go say hi to this gang. Any carp in here I could quickly skewer? No carp? There was usually carp in here. Does it come there's there come a point in the game where carp don't appear anymore? Huh. That's weird. Where's the carp? Ain't got no carp. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> I love that movie, Cracks Man. Whoa. Is he dead? What? He's dead. I didn't know he died. Oh crap, man. What killed him? I'll be damned. Well, we can't buy anything else from him anymore. Huh. Maybe that's why the carper are not here either. Well, beats the hell out of me, man. I don't know. Harata Estate is a place I haven't revisited. I don't even know if there's any reason to. Um, yeah, so running around this world, uh, you know, trying to do farming has kind of, it kind of makes the world seem very small to me. It just seems small. It probably seems small because um, there's just simply a lot of places I don't go to anymore. Like, I never come here to Harata Estate anymore. I never really run around in the depths anymore. I never go to Mibu Village anymore. Um, there's just so many places that I don't really know if it's worth going back to. And I don't think it is. I never go back to Senpo Temple except to ring the bell demons. The, the, the bell. Sunken Valley, we never go back there anymore. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. Um, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, hopefully I'm going to find some time. I'm going to try to find some time this weekend to uh, do some more farming. Yay. I just I just go here to, um, you know, the uh, the castle antechamber and I just kill this guy over and over again. I, I really do think that this is the most experience points per minute that you could get in this game, just killing this guy over and over again. So what I do is I just put on some music and I just kill this guy over and over again. And uh, I am going to do that off camera as they say in the biz and um, get some more skill points and then I'm going to spend those on attack power because I really think that would benefit me in the upcoming battles well thanks for following along with me again in this episode everybody hope you enjoyed it and I hope you join me again in the next episode